And with the playoffs looking like they were out of reach for the Packers, Aaron Rodgers proclaimed the team could run the table, and so far they have, winning four straight games. Rodgers backing it up. Recent success had boosted not only his team to the sixth seed in the current playoff picture, but his MVP hopes as well. Just two weeks ago, the ESPN.com's poll had Rodgers with the 10th most MVP votes. Now he has shot up to fifth most on the list. Stephen A., do you agree Rodgers is a top five MVP candidate. Well, I easily agree with that, and I don't think he should be at number five, but I don't think he should be above the top three. I mean, when I think about the top three, I'm thinking about Tom Brady, oh. okay, and I'm thinking about Ezekiel Elliott. They come to mind immediately. Brady, okay? laughable. We can debate about De Stop Dak it, Prescott. We can, debate about, yep. we can debate about Derek Carr, mm -hmm. all right, but, but Aaron Rodgers is at three or four, but Ezekiel Elliott and and um, of Tom Brady definitely come before. Aaron Rodgers has been sensational, but there was like a four to five week gap there yeah. where they struggled. He's been absolutely sensational ever since. He's been better than average all consistently, uh, even when he was on his downside. But that four to five week gap hurt him. I think that you got Tom Brady. I think you got Ezekiel Elliott. You want to debate Aaron Rodgers at three or four ahead or behind Derek Carr. I'm open for that discussion. But he does not deserve to be number one, but he does not also deserve to be number five. Let, let me uh, allow me to use the Socratic method on uh, Socratic. The, I'm sorry, yes, Socratic, Socratic. On the both of you. So says the Socratic. Uh, this method of inquiry. Like, let me okay. ask like you. I, I will like demonstrate. Okay, go, go, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, oh, make sure you I let me know what Socratic yes, means. Well, you will see. Socrates you will see. Okay. Let, let me ask you this. Who do you two think should be number one in the MVP voting at the moment? Tom Brady. You both think Tom Brady. Yes. Okay. Would you agree that Tom Brady has more talent and a better coach around him than Aaron Rodgers? More talent? Aaron talent? Rodgers with no secondary, banged up and diminished Brady receivers, and no clutch. running game. I I'm not asking that. Okay. I'm asking, Sorry. let's What's confine it to the question. Does Tom Brady have a better coach and more talent around him yes. on his team than Aaron Rodgers? Yes or no? Does he have better more coach. talent? I don't you know. say yes. Okay. I say yes. It's now let me ask you this. But I say if yes. you therefore say Tom Brady is better, what you are saying is necessarily that it can't be so close between them that Aaron Rodgers, you know, extra four games played doesn't have significant value. Yeah, now four let bad me, games. Now let me show you, let me show you uh, the numbers. Here is just the last 10 games Aaron Rodgers played, which line up perfectly with the 10 games Tom Brady has played. Let's see how they've done compared to one another. Uh, total QBR, Brady's in a slight lead. Passing yards per game, Brady, slight lead. Touchdown to interception ratio, again, Brady slightly, but this is all very close. And completion percentage, Brady over the last 10 games with a better coach and more talent has a very marginal advantage on a per game basis over Aaron Rodgers. And you think he should win MVP, but Aaron Rodgers has four games more value than Tom Brady. Drop the mic. It doesn't, that does, that does, conversation does, is over. Better talent, Chris Hogan? I, I'm going to tell you why we yeah. don't drop the mic. Because once again, Mr. Beetlejuice himself is going by numbers instead of watching the games. And let me tell you something right now. Here's the deal. You go ask Weezy does, about does, that does, one. I'm going to ask you that. Listen, man, George Jefferson, I'm proud. I'm almost 50. I'm proud of it. I'm trying to tell you right now. I wish I could go ball. But Weezy's coming. George Jefferson, I'll do, the, I'll do Chicken George if you want me to. Don't bother me. Here's the deal, man. When you look at Aaron Rodgers, I don't like going against that bad man. That's a bad brother. I get it. But what you're ignoring and what you're not taking into account with those eyes of yours is the fact that Aaron Rodgers has had to try to compensate for an awful defense at one point this year. So he's out there slinging the football over the place. He's taking chances, and his numbers at times may have been better because he's had to do more. When you look at Tom Brady, obviously it's within the flow of the offense. You look at the efficiency, the 22 touchdowns, just two interceptions, a QBR of 89, et cetera, et cetera, which is about 17 points higher than Aaron Rodgers. We can look at those numbers, but what I am saying to you is that I told you this from day one. When I looked at Tom Brady, 11 and 1, running the table, being as efficient as he is. I'm telling you right now, we sat on this show and debated. We said Aaron Wait, Rodgers. Games. How's about, we said Aaron Rodgers. I said he's going to be 11 and 1. Oh, oh. I said we said Aaron Rodgers. We debated this. Aaron Rodgers is going to be fine. But there was a point in time with three or four weeks, we were debating 
what we were seeing from Aaron Rodgers because he didn't seem like he was. Himself. We blamed Randall Cobb. We blamed Jordy Nelson. We blamed these the guys. But that's what yeah, it is. No, no, no. You're negating the first four games. Even if you don't think they were particularly good, they didn't hold zero value. He started at quarterback and won some of them in the NFL. These numbers are extremely close. Tom Brady over the last 10 they games are close. is okay. marginally okay. better than okay, Aaron so Rodgers. Wait, and. and and it, when you normalize, when you when you normalize for the teams they're on, actually, Aaron Rodgers may be having a better last ten games than Tom Brady, and that doesn't include the first four games where Tom Brady had precisely zero value. There is simply no way I, to argue that Brady has more I, value than I Aaron Rodgers this year. You this your, year, you dropped your mic. I'll drop mine. Good. I actually spoke to Aaron Rodgers oh. a few days ago, mm -hmm. yes. and Aaron Rodgers says if Tom Brady wins the MVP. He has no problem with it. Oh, oh well, that means that Tom Brady does, deserves it does, MVP. It does, it, it does carry it a little bit of weight. Book. It does carry a little bit <laughs> no, of weight. It, it, it certainly does. No, it I'm love just saying, it. It does. one guy does. Four, four more games. Does. He's so emotional. It's not about everything. This. It's not it. everything, but it does oh. say something. All right, All right. Let me handle. Let me handle this argument for you from now on. Don't don't, don't be giving away Let's the score.